Hi, it's Caleb and Steve from Brown Owls here, and this year we're back with our last minute Christmas gift ideas once again. Steve, why don't you kick it off? What is your Christmas pick this year? Well, this year I've been getting a little lazier in my old age, and rather than walk down range to see my bullet holes, I uh, I highly recommend this Vortex spotting scope. Okay, we, we've been using that one quite a bit throughout yeah. the year. I've learned to love this thing. And it's easy to use, it's got plenty of magnification. You can see 22 caliber holes at a good distance. Yep. So I I can't tell you how many steps this has saved me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's saved us quite a bit of steps and I have the perfect thing to go with it, Steve. Oh, really? Oh, really? All right. This here is the Death Grip tripod, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the uh, this is the carbon fiber version, so it's super lightweight. Mm -hmm. So we've been packing this thing to the range every time we bring that spotting scope, and uh, it uses Arca, it mounts right to the bottom. Right, very solid. Yep, mounts right to the bottom of that spotting scope, and then we set it up, take it down. Um, it was, it's one of those things where it's like, it looks like it takes up a lot of space. So it's like, that's kind of a lot to bring to the range. But honestly, it's so lightweight that it's, I mean, it, it don't even really notice it. And it's just cool. It's super fast to set up. Um, you don't have to do a bunch of. No, it's, it's real simple, straightforward. Yeah, I mean, you just, and it has these push buttons here. So you can just, like that's the stop right there. So you just open them up and then they'll all stop in that same spot or you can push it to the middle adjustment and it'll open up a little bit further and you can go all the way with it and it'll open up even further. So it's uh, really quick and easy to use. And another cool thing about it is that it comes with a saddle. So we have the oh. saddles here as well. Versatility. Yeah, so it's a padded rubberized saddle that mounts right in there so it'll grip your firearm and uh, you can mount your firearm in it for shooting off of a really steady platform. Right. I've actually been using this a lot this hunting season as well. Cool. And uh, it's it's great because it's so lightweight. I should mention this uh, spotting scope, I believe it is a 16 to 60 power variable. So it you can pretty much dial it into anything to suit the conditions. Oh yeah. Yep, so spotting scope, tripod, what's next? Um, well, along with the tripod, uh, to steady your firearm, I use this Magpul uh, bipod a lot. Uh, this particular one's a Picatinny, but it's also available in MWOC. And it's not super expensive for a high quality bipod. It extends really easily. You know, it's not hard to, not hard to manipulate. Doesn't weigh a whole lot too. Like, like some of the all metal ones, this is really lightweight, high speed, low drag. Yeah, so I, I got one of those whenever they first came out. It comes in a few different variants. That one's the 1913. Right. Uh, you can get the 17S mount, and then you can also get the M-Lock mount, which is the one that I have, mm -hmm. and it's just uh, works really well. Yeah. And I'll uh, kind of jump up here. So if, because it's, it's, it's hunting season in a lot of places. It is. The, the beginning of, the end of, you know, whatever. Um, and if you have a family member that's just been missing deer or just having issues and, and whatnot, and you want to make fun of them, but at the same time, get them a really cool gift. Uh, the BRN 180 in 350 Legend. Uh, this is one I've been hunting with a little bit this year, and it's our newest, at, you know, whenever you're watching this, this is a seasonal video, so I can say that. Uh, it's our newest 180 upper. Um, and of course, this one is all built out. Does not include everything you see here, right? Uh, so yeah, as far as 350 Legend goes, I mean, this is this is the way to do it. I even put a Arca mount on the bottom here so that I can mount it straight to that tripod I just showed you guys. And uh, yeah, so cool product here. I mean, the only thing else you can really give to complement this would be some ammunition. Yeah, and we like those because of the uh, regulations here in Iowa for uh, cartridges for deer. Yep, got to be However, the 350 Legend in its own right is a really good deer cartridge. Yeah, it really is. I mean, even if you're not in a restricted state like we are, it's yeah. not a really bad option. Not so, at all. Yeah. Not at all. All right. Another thing I've come to love when I go to the range is, are these Walker electronic earmuffs. These are the Walker's XLs. 
They are great. Uh, they're directional, so you can tell which way a range command or a yell for help is coming from. Um, they're not bad in the wind. They're better than most that I've tried. Um, we have a really often windy conditions at uh, yeah. the Brownells range. Oh, yeah. It's coming, coming screaming out of the south about every time we go out there. But these handle it very well. And they're comfortable to wear, especially in winter, to keep your ears warm. And I can't recommend them enough. They've got different settings to, to boost different frequencies. So I boost the high frequencies so I can tell people's voices apart because my ears aren't what they used to be. And uh, I highly recommend these. Um, they keep all the, no the bad noise out, but they let all the good noise in plus amplify it. Yeah, everything you want in hearing protection. And I'll play off of that one because Wal Walker, uh, they also make the silencer and these are the in-ear hearing protection that they make. And these are the ones that I've been using, especially a lot during the summertime. Yeah. Because uh, those over-the-ear stuff, they just they get they get sweaty when you get sweaty, and it's just, it just gets kind of gross. But this one lets your ears breathe a little bit, and uh, they still block a good bit of sound. And these are amplified, so they are electronic hearing protection as right. well. Right, right. Uh, they're also available in Bluetooth, so uh, yeah. if you want to use that for whatever reason, you can get them as that too, but uh, those are just the standard ones and they work. Oh, and great. that case they come in is the charger. Yes, that's a good you, point. You charge the case with a USB cable and then you plug those in, they light up red and when they turn, what is it, blue? Um, I, mine, or the, when they just go out. Yeah, mine, when they just go yeah, out. Then they're charged. Yeah, you can see, right, and also the case, not just the charger, but it, whole, it has an internal battery. So yeah. right now these are charging. Yeah. Um, the case is charging them. And it's good for several charges. So when, yeah, when you're oh, done yeah. shooting, you just put them back in the case, put them back in your uh, range bag and forget about them. Yeah, honestly, I just leave this case plugged in in my truck and they're always there yeah. charging. They're, they're charged every time I need them. Uh, so that's super handy. Yep, and they are comfortable. I've tried, uh, I've tried a pair and they're nice. Yeah, they're great. So, moving on. Let me get some of these things out of the way because there's a gift you can always give at Christmas. Nothing says I love you more than ammunition. That's true. It's so, my love language. Any kind of ammo that your giftee happens to need, you should think of that as an easy present to get. It's not super expensive in most cases, and I don't know a shooter that can't use an extra box or two of ammunition. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it, it almost doesn't even really ma what, matter what caliber it is. If I'm getting ammunition for Christmas, then I'm I'm happy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, as long as it fits something you already own. I mean, it. Uh, sure. <laughs> it's just an excuse to buy something else. You know, like, oh, I don't have a gun to fit this ammunition. I need yeah. to go buy a gun. You know, I should mention these uh, these MTM ammo boxes. These ammo crates. No, these these are called ammo boxes actually. These are pretty cool. They're, they're water resistant to a great degree. They've got an O-ring in here or a rubber seal anyway. Double latches and they stack on each other. I've got a few stacks of these in my basement full of ammunition, brass, what have you. Yeah, that's uh, a... <clears throat> and they're cheap. Excellent for storing anything. No, I mean, not even just ammo, whatever you want to put so, in there. So if you or someone you know has a bunch of stuff lying around in disarray, get him a few of these and he can put them in there and stack them up, get them out of the way. Yeah, and if you have a really long Christmas list, you can like write out that Christmas list, stick it in that box and just ship the whole box to Santa Claus because you don't have to worry about the snow and stuff. Is that how that works? It, yeah, it is. Cool. I've, I've, I've done it. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep moving. So I have a really cool uh, gunsmithing tool I want to share with you here. This is the Short Action Custom, and this is their modular barrel vise. So this thing here, it's a it's a barrel vise and it unlatches on one side. Just loosen the screw and open it up. One screw to worry about. Hinges. Pretty cool. And it uses an Arca base. So it com well it comes with an Arca base that you mount to your workbench, and then you just slide the tool in whenever you want to use it. And whenever you need it out of the way, rather than having to undo a bunch of melting bolts, you just loosen the Arca and set it aside, and now you have freed up space on your workbench. 
Uh, not only that, but it comes with barrel inserts, so it works with a number of barrel diameters. It really does. We've tested it out on a bunch of barrels. Yeah, we've, we've used this thing uh, quite a bit already here, and it is the best barrel vise I've ever used. I'll say that. Yeah. Now, it may not be for the guy that already has a barrel vise and only does one, one or two barrel jobs a year. Sure. But if you're taking barrels on and off on a regular basis, man, this saves you so much time and so much, so much work. Yep. It yeah. really does. It's it's really, it's my favorite barrel vice. I don't know if I've said, did I say Maybe it was my favorite barrel About a thousand barrel? times. It's my favorite barrel vice. Other than that. Yeah, so so yeah, uh, definitely a recommended, uh, top recommended tool of the year, I would say. Yeah, easily. Well, let me make a little room here because I've got something I have, I've been, I'm hoping Santa's gonna bring me. I, um. <clears throat> Santa. The, the way you've been this year, Steve, I don't think you're getting any of this stuff, but oh, you know, it's, this it's is not, it's not my call, Santa's call at the end of the day. But. This is the long-awaited Colt King Cobra in 22. It's an eight-shot double-action revolver, all stainless, beautiful little gun. The machining and workmanship on this is just wonderful. It's a lot like the old Diamondbacks used to be. And in case you're wondering, they can't call it a Diamondback because somebody else is using that name in the industry now. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say who it is, but right. it rhymes with Diamondback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but these are beautiful little guns. They're, they're a 10-shot revolver. They're available in a 4 or 6-inch. We just got a batch of 4 inches in. That's why I grabbed this one. And 4 inches is my preferred uh, 22 length. So, real cool gun, um, just, you know, fully adjustable sight. It's got a fiber optic on the front, but it is just, the weight was worth it, Yeah, I think. Yeah. I, got, I got to shoot one at a range day with a Colt representative, and it shot great. Yeah, I remember that. That was, that, yeah. was a, that was a good range day, and yeah. it, was, uh, it was exciting to see there. It was. It was. So, uh, yeah, if, if somebody's been extra good, consider this as a gift. You can't go wrong. Yeah, so solid choice. That's our definitely our firearm pick of the year, yeah. no doubt. Yeah. And then that gun would look really good in the new range bag. So I think last year and maybe even the year before we did a Brownells range bag. Right. Because we, I mean, we make an awesome range bag. We do. I use mine all the time. But this is also a really good range bag. And this is... Uh, I don't want to say it's my new favorite because we make one to, you know what, it's my new favorite. Okay. It's whatever. Okay. Um, so this one's made by Savior Equipment and I've been using, the, so I just got this range bag, but I've been using their, their standard pistol case for probably about two years now. Right. Uh, and it's been awesome. So whenever they came out with this, I was like, yeah, I, I need that as well. Uh, so let me just go through some of the features here. Yeah, um, this is not just a reworked uh, camera or video bag. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh -uh, this is totally different. Yeah, this is designed for shooters, right? So uh, just kind of go over some of the features here. I'll start with the front pocket. It unzips, opens up. Uh, no surprise there. You have this mesh at the bottom. Then you have a mag carrier in the front, right? That's slick. It is slick. And unlike other range bags... Let's say you're not even you're not using this for handgun. Well, now you have all these mag carriers in the front. You're not going to use. Right. They uh, they made it removable, so you can just take it completely off. Sounds and like it's not going to fall off by accident it, either. It's, yeah, you got to you got to want to take it off. With fully loaded mags, it won't be a problem keeping it secure. Not at all. But yeah, that does come all the way off. Uh, you can take it out and just don't lose it. All right, and then your side pockets, uh, you have these open meshes on both sides here. You got, I haven't even, I haven't, we're, we're kind of going through some of these for the first time because I haven't opened all these pockets yet. Uh, you have just a good general purpose pocket right here. And if you open up the side, you have, I wouldn't say it's mag pouches, you can put tools or whatever in there. Uh, you have two larger ones, two smaller ones where you can put your Sharpie, you know, whatever. Right. But put your screwdriver in there where the blade won't touch anything and, and mar it or something like that. Yeah. And uh, let me see if this actually mirrors on both sides. It does not. So this one is just wide open. 
no internal pockets in there, so that would be perfect for ammo boxes. Right. Put your boxes of ammunition in there, you're good to go. And nothing on the back side, so you can push it up flat against something, like mm -hmm. in the, the side of your vehicle or whatever. Because I, I kind of hate whenever range bags have big pockets on all sides, because it's just it gets kind of awkward, especially it if does. you're carrying it. So with this against your body, you know, it's not as awkward to carry, especially when you get a lot of stuff in there. Um, on the top here, what well, you have, oh, hold on, you have carry handles, right? A removable shoulder strap with some really good padding. And heavy duty secure mounts too. Yeah, yeah, these, uh, yeah. they're steel, they look like steel. So if you like heavy to overpack steel. with uh, heavy stuff, you know, plenty of ammunition and stuff, you can, you can tote it in this without having any uh, catastrophes. Yeah, and you can mount whatever you want to the top. You have uh, Velcro with laser cut molly. So that's there, and you have just a standard top sleeve here. This is where yep. you keep all your tech stamps and whatnot. Exactly. Perfect for paperwork. Yep. And then uh, inside, this is where it gets cool. Cooler. It's not a cooler. It won't keep things cool, but it might. Uh, the whole thing is padded, and there is a feels like a nylon insert. Yeah, it's a, it's a rigid insert of some kind. It goes all the way around. So, so this thing keeps its shape no matter what. Yep, yep, nice and sturdy. So And if something bumps up against it, it's not gonna, you don't have to worry about your guns. Uh, speaking of guns, in here, it comes with three pockets. I'll just pull them all out. Yeah. We'll go through those in just a second, uh, but there's a divider in there. It Velcros in, you can take the divider out and just have a big open bag. Uh, you have these Velcro tabs here that you can write on with a marker and label different compartments so you know where your stuff is. Uh, those are handy. And well then, thought out. Yeah, and we'll go over these last here. This is These are the uh, pistol sleeves. Mm -hmm. And they just unzip. They are padded, and they have a nice, soft interior. Cool. So you're... Uh, your Colt will slide in there real yeah. nice. And, and Yeah, well, if you want to get me the bag too, that'd be great. You know, if I'm going to get you one, I'm going to get you both, Steve. So It's double or nothing. It's double or nothing. I, I wrote in my letters that I put in my ammo box and shipped to Santa that you deserve all this, so you should be getting it. That's, that's how it goes. And uh, other than that, we just have some stocking stuffers. Oh, well, that's always fun. Yeah, so we'll just... Pour it out on the table here and see what we have. Mystery stocking stuffers. Yeah. All right. So, of course, we have some forward control AR parts. Uh, here we have their uh, mag button, ejection port cover, and the bolt release or bolt catch, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, all in dimpled because dimples are cuter. Uh, but in all seriousness, aside from looking really good on your AR, uh, they're manufactured out of the best materials, best quality control standards in the industry, I would dare say. Mm -hmm. um, nice stuff. Yeah, forward controls, they, they know what they're doing. They, they're a little bit more expensive as far as they are parts go, but it's for a reason. Um, so yeah, forward control designs stuff. Ooh. I've been going on and on about them all year. I use a ton of their stuff, so I hope you guys will too. All right, and then, um, Steve, remember these? No. You don't remember these? No. Get out of here, Steve. Steve Johnson. <laughs> He's messing around because I made such a big deal about these. Yes. Uh, AR takedown tools will remove or install every pin on your AR-15. Including the tapered pins. The tapered. The dreaded taper pins. Front sight pins that are just a, ins a, a they're a pain to remove. Show them that punch. Yeah, so. Show them that which punch. One did, which one was I using for that? I think I was using. This one, wasn't it? No, I think it was this one. Okay. I don't know, point is, this thing knocks them out. Uh, this one's, most of these are brass, this one's the steel one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you just set this sucker on the taper pin, and you, it's. Yeah. Just a, a spring hammer, kind of like a, a nail set or a, yeah. um, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the first time I saw you doing it at the bench, I walked over and I was just about to tell you you're wasting your time and the pin fell out. Yeah, it was it was crazy. We took a brand new Colt factory installed yeah. 
This this was not a like, you know just tapped in put together thing. It was factory. Yeah, and uh, we were able to drive it out. Yeah, and we've done some since. Yeah, so uh, if you're looking for something to put in your AR enthusiast. Yeah, and if that's a job you have to do often and you hate that job, this will make your life a lot easier. Yeah, so throw this in their stocking. This, yeah. is, uh, this is the gift that good keeps call. on giving. Good call. All right, Steve, I think, uh, I think we did it. That about does it. Yep, for another year. For another year. We'll see you again next year. Oh, wait, my sweater, Steve. Oh, People that sweater. Like, Where did you get that gingerbread man holding the AR? There's that only, sweater. There's only one place I can think of. This is the just the, the, the Christmas drip. This is uh this is this year's Magpul sweater. Ugly Christmas sweater. So if you've been keeping up with us the last three years in a row, I've worn the Magpul something, right? And uh, this is this year's. So Everything except a hat. Yeah, they have a hat, but I'm not putting <laughs> I'm not putting a hat on this. Get out of here. <laughs> so, there it is. I'm up for I'm defending my title as most dapper this year, Steve. So, can't be messing around. All right. We'll all vote for you. I appreciate that. All right. So there you have it. Another Christmas in the bag, so yeah. to speak. Yeah, or out the out the bag, yeah, whatever. All right. So from all of us at Brownells to all of you, have a very merry Christmas, and we'll see you next year.